picture on the tweet too. Thank you for the follow. There's that lone druid we were looking for last game. Finally coming out. So that'll be for Kezu. More than likely in the offlane. From what I understand, that was like his hero in Han as well. Um, I've seen him play in Dota and he crushes with it. So there they go. Oh, the old tweeter. Uh, I have no idea what the black... I literally just googled Black Mage GIF because it used to be my favorite little character thing. It's just so cute. It's funny. I'm not sure which one it's from. I didn't put my Twitch... I didn't? Oh, damn it. Yeah, but everyone knows what it is. Fuck. It's okay. It's okay. I'll just... Yeah, it's not going to work. Ten seconds remaining. <laughs> I had it copy-pasted, too, and I didn't Five put it in. All right, there. I've attached it. Typical. Oh, nice to get the Tressy sub stuff. All right, well, we're in, guys. You know, we got a lone drew. We got a tusk. They're gonna be banned out the puck. A little bit scared of that coming out here. Uh, e skills, other heroes, I believe. Some of the stuff that he's been working with is like the. I know they played around with the Death Prophet. Um, and a couple of little pushing strats here. I don't know if they want to pair that up with the Lone Druid. Uh, the Darkseer is still in the pool, which is the other big one for the offlane player. Or, uh, rather, sorry, for the, uh, for Fuserin. Not, obviously, Kez is the offlane player over here, but... We'll see, we'll see. We shall see, indeed. Kezu, not gonna have to worry about this game, because, obviously, that Lone Druid. And then, the Tusk, Steph. They do... Dazzle's still in play. They'll probably be, like, a Steph-style hero. And then you always gotta watch out for the Rubik too. So it could be like Steph on the Tusk and then like a Rubik for Pablo, or it'll be Pablo probably on the Tusk and then like a Dazzle for Steph, something along those lines. E skill Ember. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Dire team back. Oh, they're banning at the Juggernaut. They already took care of the Bane. Obviously, they took care of the Io themselves over here. I wonder what they want with the Tiny, then. Radiant team I wonder if this is like a, a clowny Tiny. Also, Slider is still in the pool, which is really good up against Lone Druid. Just being able to burst down the bear. In Ten fact, Death Prophet's also really good against the the bear because she's that new, new percent based skill. Five and obviously, when you're dealing with those massive HP pools, that's the whole idea. But other than that, it's just minus armor and uh, taking down. So there goes the Darkseer we talked about as well. There's the Dazzle we talked about. Uh, that'll probably be for Steph style. And it's making it look even more and more like it's probably going to be that Ember Spirit. One would imagine here. Um, now they've done that for Ash in the, the safe lane, and that's it's kind of nice because Lone Druid gives you a lot of that early space. And then they might go for like a Wind Ranger or something. It might depend. So like Wind Ranger, Amber Spirit. But of course, you're gonna be looking at what the other team's going for. Five what time is it in Canada? Uh, I'm on the far east coast, so it's actually not that bad for me. It's 10:19. Um, I'm actually Easter than Eastern Standard Time. I'm in Atlantic Standard Time. So it's 10.18 for me. So let's, let's see, let's get in the mindset here, guys. Let's really go over this in our heads, okay? Now we're looking at, you know, Fuserin, okay? You're coming in this game, you know who these guys are. Maybe you don't know, but they got a cool logo. You probably, you know, probably clicked their things in the lobby and saw they were like 7K, and you're like, oh shit, like, what are we gonna do? Witch Doctor. So, what do, what do you do? What, what's your plan of attack? Radiant Tiny Radiant. Io, that would have been pretty sick. Like, you, you know, you want the cheese. Is it Broodmother? Is there a Broodmother there? Because that'd be looking pretty good right now. Now, of course, the Amber Spirit's still in the pool. Not so good. But, you know, 
Uh, Dyer go Windrunner. Yep, Windrunner is extremely good. We talked about that a lot yesterday with uh, a lot of those Lone Druid picks and bands. And it's always nice to have the double Shackle target and again, um, the armor and the physical burst to bring down the bear. But they're going to go for the Razor. I'm going to guess that's E skills in the mid. And we're still looking towards the Ash Ember. At your and there's that Wind Ranger as well. Good, good calls there, guys. But it's just so solid against Lone Druid, like extremely good. Because K, because Fluffs KP's is gonna win every game anyway. So we have to take our chances with cookies. No. Ah, <laughs> oh, was looking for someone to cast the games today. I cast their games in BTS EU. They're really good. I like watching it. Don't worry, guys. There's a whole day tomorrow. Lots of games. Time. So it'll be it'll be a okay. So let's see. Do you just ban really hard lockdown? Who would even be left? You assume this would be a position one tiny that's gonna get like an early blink dagger in Rome, or is this gonna be an off lane dire side tiny where you do this clowny throw? And you just ban out like a PL or something comical like that that you don't want to lose the game to. I wouldn't be too. S well, maybe I'd be scared against the PL as the Lone Druid. Very single attack focused. PL is like the most common fifth round pick right so far this tournament, I would guess. And they're banning the Brood. We talked about that. Just don't don't risk it. Maybe it's an offlaner they don't want to deal with. I I agree with that decision. More than likely, it'll be position with Tiny. They'll probably go for like a, you know, clockwork or some sort of shenanigans. Team pick. Uh, that's all, of course, depending on what they're going to be grabbing here. If it's an Ember Spirit, maybe not so much. Queen of Pain's still in the pool. Uh, if they want to run that, like safe lane for Ash. Uh, from what I've seen, he usually goes for like the farmed, you know, kind of these uh, physical damage dealer, not really spellcaster style, where like, you know, some teams will run like safe lane Storm Spirit or something comical. Yeah, cancel did play good yesterday. Ten seconds remaining. He played er good earlier today too. Five seconds remaining. Oh, thanks for the follow, JPW. Reserve time. Ash has played Razor the last couple of days though. Oh, has he been doing that? Ten seconds okay, then. remaining. It's true. I've never actually seen E Skills play it, Lena. but it feels like it would be really good. But nope, it'll be the E Skills Lena. Dire team pick. So that'll be a nice little pickup for him. So it is, in fact, the Ash Razor. You guys are correct. I guess that uh, still falls in line with those physical damage dealers. So I don't know. I'm just, I, I'm not that big on safe lane Razor. I never feel like Razor does anything in the game I see. He's one of those heroes that you can't really tell what he's doing. He kind of runs through a team fight and just like, you know, remaining. stay away from me. Oh, Archangel with the calls. So now with this then, uh, hmm, up against the bear. I think you just need Slardar. I think Slardar is the pick. Yeah, it's definitely the pick. The combined minus armor with the Wind Ranger, the Vengeful Spirit, the Stun, the bear. It's really got to be Slardar. I don't see anything that would be better. Unless they want to try like a Mega Rat or something like that. Windraiser was picked before, or, er, yeah, it was before the, uh, the eraser. Slada. Yeah, not pack Dota. Easy game. All right, so here we go. Get ourselves in. Your offlane starter. And uh, Cookie's there looking for another good win. Ugh. I'm excited to see Kezu Lone Druid. I know about you guys. I'm pretty pumped. I always like to see someone on their kind of signature hero here, so. Hey, geez, come on, guys. Take your time a little more on these picks. Ten Could actually go and eat some breakfast, maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm calling you out. I'm calling you guys out, Ash. 
Steph style. Hmm? Yeah? <laughs> okay. Here we go! Oh, they're getting ready. Is this... Am I all... Oh, I'm all in this... Keep slapping me on this directed camera. We don't want this nonsense here. Got here. Oh, great. And of course, we need to restart the game. We gotta go with the thing. Ba ba ba. Yeah, it's his, it's his hero, man. He's all about this lone druid. It's our tiny guy. Alright, he's going safe lane. Let's see when Ranger isn't he going in the mid. Ooh, double fairy fire. Sweet stack Arino. <laughs> oh, MMR check. Gotta do, gotta do our MMR check. Alright. You know, they've made it this far. They made they just won two games in a row. They're probably pretty good. Ooh, they're look at this. They they removed it from the profiles, man. They were coming into this uh, this qualifier, and they're like, no, we don't want teams to know how good we are. So let's all remove everything. Oh, it's the same guy. Thirty seconds to battle. All right, that guy has a lot of games. All right, well, they like to play together. A couple stackers. Okay, the snowball, it's happening. They're coming in. <laughs> They're from the high ground. They're going for the witch down. He's the target. LSA will come out and that'll secure the kill there for E skills. So. Oh, his signature hero was the Juggernaut? There you go. Oh, oh, bear blocks. <laughs> Wonder how to help secure his escape, though. For the camp block plus the uh, little bit of vision two coming up the uh, high ground, and the lanes appear to be shaping up kind of how we expected. Now this seems like an awful time. Slider versus Lone Druid. No orb of venom on the bear yet. Honestly, probably won't even need it. Early on, like you can see, he's not taking that much damage because the bear doesn't hit that hard. But once he starts in like level three, four. That's the times are going to be extremely tough. I guess I'm about Winter's Refresher Void. Oh, the Kessies. I'd like to see that. A snowball coming from Pablo. A little bit of body blocks here. I don't think I'm going to get the damage. <laughs> In fact, Eatskills is like, nah. I'm just going to salve up, bud. <laughs> you just handle them. Oh, I see. Like Void and Jugger. Okay. I gotcha. Snowball coming in. Lots of action coming in from this tusk. No mana left. He's got the mango feet. He needs to save himself. Is it worth it? Uh, he doesn't think so. So he will go down. Uh, I'm slightly confused. There's something about milk and juice. and uh, For a second, I thought you guys were talking about cows. So, like, I thought you were saying, like, why is it called cow? Like, why is it called milk? Like, oranges don't make milk, so a cow should make juice. I thought the argument was saying that it should be called cow juice when I just breezed over it. Now I understand what you're saying, though. You're, you're talking about almond milk, but now I'm wishing that it was called cow juice. So that's where I'm at in terms of your guys' little chat debate. It's, everyone's just like running into each other all over the map here. I'm scared. I don't want to miss anything. Th thanks, Phage. Oh! Nice, 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 nice. Nice luck, Pablo. It's going to the tiny. You can see by the snowball turning. You guys gotta watch for that when you're, you're playing against those Tusk players. Those filthy Tusk spammers. Oh, so sad. This guy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like that ogre magi earlier today. He just stopped moving. So, an early three kill lead here for the side of the Cookies boys. And Fuser, while well, they're getting dunked in the cow juice. It's 
mistake. Pablo. <laughs> so it's going to be a little bit quiet here. Uh, we're taking a look at these lanes, you know, the tiny. They do have the possibility of getting some kills. A little bit of wombo combo, you know. Maybe not on Ash. He's relatively durable as the uh, Razor, of course, but... Staff style, he only has the boots on the Dazzle, sitting at about 487 HP right now, but 540 total. Certainly possible. A single stun and he should just go down. Nothing that Ash can do, obviously. No stuns uh, inherently on a Razor. That's offline. I'm actually shocked that he's even managed to get level 4, but one root, like... It's so risky. He, oh, he's going for it. Oh, I can't get it. But it's definitely not safe for the Slider to be here anymore. Oh, oh, risky business. Did he not see him sneak in there? Oh, he's just gonna body block his escape. <laughs> Kazu. I think that's really well. I don't want to miss anything here. Alright, nice stun, nice stun. Living again. This Slider is playing this really well, I think, actually. Like, the fact that he's still alive. Oh, when Ginger. He's having some trouble in the mid lane. Of course, the second I leave, he's gonna get rooted. Like, you can feel it. Maybe, maybe this is like a wash pot never boils, and I'm actually, like, blowing it for Kezu right now. Like, a watch bear never roots. Oh, shit. <laughs> I knew it was coming. There goes the Wind Ranger. They're gonna trade up the Tusk Court, though. Laguna Blade. Committed. Worth. Oh! Not enough. Not enough. Fairy Fire. Living. Can I get a... Oh, Alright, there's a root. It's happening. And look, look at this. Oh, so close! Oh, the self! Lose the 10 HP. Nicely played. And Kezu might pay for his transgressions here. I don't know. I don't think that was enough damage. Yeah, the tango's gonna make it so he won't take any damage from the rest of the ticks. Oh, he's fine. He's a okay. Yeah, that is some pretty impressive CS considering. Oh, I just heard a bench stun. But nice double shackle. Gonna keep him alive after that LSA. Oh, last right click! Not alive. Jinxed. Pablo. Almost dead, but nice great from Steph style. LSA. Gonna gonna connect. Throwing up the edge shards. Pablo trying to still make the place. He won't go down to that last wave of terror. E scale getting low. Hasted Witch Doctor out of nowhere. Hello. Bounce. Oh, oh, creep. Oh, the bottle though. He still still got it. Dragon Slave. Still got it. Right click. Dead. Too YOLO. Nah, he'll be fine. He shouldn't, uh, he shouldn't die. He just needs to run. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that would have been enough damage too because it's pure. <laughs> that was close. Oh, snowball top lane. He's got the avalanche. Toss as well. Just trying to throw him back to people. Trying to keep himself alive. Nice cut through. Ah, goes down. Okay, oh, now in the bottom lane again. Stunned up. Looks like Kezu will drop here. It's going to be a tough way for him to get out. He's trying to run. Trying to get as much damage as he can before he drops. And he is dead. All right. So it's now 9 to 3. We've got 12 kills in 7 minutes. And we're, we're catching them all, by the way. I mean, okay, we missed, like, one. It was the Wind Ranger, but... Other than that, I think we're doing pretty good considering the current situation. I just want to say. Oh, did they find that? Oh! <laughs> it's so close! That's a tough break. That's a tough break. Oh, okay, so they're still dead here. This guy, this slider is just so happy right now. He's like, finally! I can just, like, breathe in my lane. Oh shit. That's what I get. That's what I get. I actually looked top because I have the damn hero portraits. I didn't see Tiny's face. <laughs> That's my bad. <laughs> uh, uh, why don't I brag about not missing kills some more, guys? I would probably help the situation a little bit. Oh, then I just won't even click the fight recap. I mean, not that that exciting. I'm sure they just snowballed and ice shared them and Tusk has infinite mana pretty much with arcane boots, so who cares? So, Cookies, put on another good show here. The bear, he's back in full force. Bear force one. He just chilled down in his lane. Just doing his thing. He feels very firm. Full level ahead of the Wind Ranger. So 
So I just gotta be very wary of this Laguna Blade. In terms of items, it's probably just gonna be the Yule's First. Seems like a good Yule's First game. Nothing else that's really coming to mind immediately can help get rid of the Amplified Damage too a little bit because you can track and try to move around. Oh, cask, not gonna bounce. It's a big range, but it's not that big. Power Shot will miss. Run on the Witch Doctor, they'll get it, but now they're gonna be stunned up. Toss, no Avalanche though. Can't get like the, uh, rather like the double avalanche. Oh, he might go down to the mouth. It's gonna be close. He does in fact die in the base. They do end up with a double kill now on Ash though. As they're just trying to chase down the slider. Wind Ranger up to the top. That's it. Maybe he did get the double. Did he? The 469 damage. Oh no, he did get it. Alright. Uh, no, he did right click. I'm not sure. I think he actually did get the double damage on the toss. Because if he's got his mind, it's under 10 minutes. Feeling pretty good. You know, he got himself a kill down the bottom lane. Oh, I guess it only ended up being an assist, but he also had the one death, so. Pretty standard timing. This tower is very much dead. Might be able to get the deny with the Wind Raider. You know he wants it. Oh, he wants it. Oh, do it. Do it. Shackle for the deny? Oh! Oh, I thought he was going to make the plays, but instead he might be making his grave! Oh, oh, E skill. Please. <laughs> Wrong, wrong, wrong key, I think. <laughs> Alright. Wow, holy shit, we're up to 450 followers, guys. Best two days ever. This is what happens when you're not away for the open qualifiers this time. Oh, ho, ho. That was nice Laguna Blade. Actually, get a chance to cast them. So, thank you very much for everyone who is hanging out. By the way, if you haven't followed, please do. It does help. But we have already doubled the past two days, so I ain't complaining. Or past day, I suppose. I only cast it one day yesterday. Well, Today is two. Oh, we're still in round two fifty six. You're damn right. Oh, sounds real. Where's the stake pun? There's not much at stake yet, right? <laughs> Maybe well, there is a little bit of a. I know we won't bother there. They're gonna smoke up. There's no lulls. There's no calm downs. There's also no blink dagger. But it's not too far away considering the situation of the lane he was thrown into. Let's we'll, we'll swap over net worth now. It's far enough. Oh, massive lead. Basically, everyone almost doubling off the top of the Wind Ranger. But you know what that means? Their big fat gold pinata's waiting to burst. But there's a grave. Steph style. He's stealing the damage. He's got the full wand at the end. The Maldic charges don't will it be enough? He's gonna go home to the fountain. That is the right decision. He might still end up dying. We will find out. Dragon Slave comes through. It looks like the Maldic must have been put on too late. What the fuck? Is Mopax casting? Oh, he's casting. And what am I casting? I don't know. It's it's this game. Who knows? Well, that was a failed gank, one might say. Oh, get the tower. Yeah, that's how you do it. Oh, he gets the bear out. Now I've got to sacrifice the bear? Can bear get away? Bear, run. Bear, run. Oh, look at the bait. The savage roar. <laughs> New abilities, boys. Get away from me. Uh, he gives the TP over to the bear and sends it home. Don't forget about that, guys. Well, at the same time, they're chasing a Mackie. Double shackle, though. Uh, I don't think you want to harass, buddy. Oh, no. He gets pushed to the little ground. They can see. <laughs> Oh, that was so good! Alright, bottom lane though, we can't miss this. E skill almost going down, but again a grave from Steph Style. This guy is on point. Will he survive this time? He did not have the fortunate uh, stance of having a full wand though, so Steph Style trying some juke spots, can try and TP, so the ring crash up and available. He misses it! Oh, he gets it in time! Uh, it was just a. He, was, he made him think that he'd gone past, but oh no. That AoE, you gotta remember, it's pretty big. Nice shards, won't connect. Snowball. Pablo. Hey, Pablo Gaming. Call himself High Stakes Gaming. Could be like a steak with like a blunt coming out of it. 
Sounds awful. Every time Moffax is a follower, a blank gets its wings. That's beautiful. Oh, well, thanks for inviting me as one of your two streams. I appreciate it. Alright, well, Benji, he's closing on that level 6. I also like Lamp. I also love Brick. Oh, hey, Lacorian. Going for the four staff. A little bit of the old school. The initial slider off lane, but always going to be good up against the Tusk for the Ice Shards, right? In case you're harassed up and you got to get on the other side. Good against Lone Druid in case when your allies get rooted. Not to bring you down, Mothpacks, but you are like the only English streamer at the moment. I, I don't see how that brings me down. <laughs> so, um, thanks. It's okay. I see what you're saying, though. I gotcha. It's okay. <laughs> Doing a great job, though. Okay, thanks. Thanks for bringing me back up. You're building me back up. You knock them down, you build them up. It's beautiful. Alright, well, they're gonna grab me in this room. This is this is the comeback, guys. Don't look at the don't look at the net worth. We we can find we must be able to find something that they're leading in. Buyback status, and they oh, buyback status three. <laughs> Who has the? Uh, oh, it's, it's three. It's three versus three. Shoot. They're not winning a buyback status either. Um. Uh, fantasy. No, not fantasy points. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> How about Roshan kills? Did you guys know that the team that takes Roshan first wins 70% of games? So. Is that. Is that it? Is that, uh... What, what is that? I mean, is that GG? Is it over? It looks like it's probably over, guys. So, we can probably just say, you know, sorry, Cookies. It, it looks like game's over here. Oh, Ash, he's going to sacrifice himself here to the Fuser Gods. Shackled up. No grave this time from Seth Style. He's a god. But he can't bring it out now. He's skill With Pablo, Walrus Punch, up on the Mackie. Got to tick him off. That'll be the Aegis. And let's get him up there. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. <laughs> GG, turn it off. It's over. Nice Yules. LSA. No one else nearby. Alright, Pablo's here. He's like, I got you, I got you. Oh, he's gonna get a double! Two for the trial, possibly, but then Atlas is gonna be QPDP. That's a fun name to say. LSA comes out on to Oh, style. E skill. Alright, don't give us the Wind Ranger. Well, we'll take two for our troubles. Ends up being relatively even, I'd say. Oh, now it's gonna be okay. Good heals. Steph style's on point this game, man. Ah, oh, nice. We got the blink coming out too. All right, blink avalanche toss. Oh, not quite enough damage to bring him down because we got the Steph styles, boys, and we got a mech on Ash as well. So these burst plays, you know, a little bit risky. Go for the root. Can they get a root? Can I buy a root? What's behind door number three? Well, they don't need the root because they got a razor. Aether Lens now done for E-Skill. Very handy little item. Basically takes off that nerf to Laguna Blade. Well, once that shows up. It doesn't show on this, does it? Oh, it does. Look at, look at that. That's nice. That's some good shit. Someone told me the other day that it doesn't show up on the range indicator when I was casting. I was like, I'm mm, pretty sure it does. <sighs> twitch chat. Typical Twitch chat. You know, not you guys, though. You guys are all nice. Force nice. All right, all right. Can we just give some props to Slider for attempting that? I mean, counter props as well to to Kezu for quickly returning the bear because that kind of came out of nowhere. But that was pretty sick. The attempted offensive force staff into a stun. Is that a uh, red bear panda? Yeah, it's a. It is in fact.
Oh, well. Things quieting down. Kezu getting his radiance. The same timing uh, Pycat had in the game yesterday. Yeah, he went Midas radiance at the 18 minute mark as well. Nice swap, quickly done there, it's Pommel blinked up, trying to get the Wind Ranger, and they will still be successful. And now, QPDP, also gonna go to them. Kezu gets now just up the, the burn, grab him. Oh, that Death War not gonna be able to do too much. Bear, Bear doesn't want to stop. Kezu's trying to get the, uh, across the cliff damage. Oh, Pommel, he's still going. And now down here, so they're all over the place. This is tiny, he just loves to YOLO in. Not gonna work out in his favor this time. So what do cookies need to do to end this game? Um, not disconnect their keyboards and mice. Sandy, were you in the last game? Or were you in this game? No, you weren't. I assume not. Either way, if you were, shout out to you, man. You know, it's not every day you get to play against the cookies and stuff like that, so it's kind of fun. Oh, a little bit of the cask here. Pick up the double anti lone druid combo. Oh, you're the slider in this game. Oh, dude, no spoilers. Hey, I actually was just giving you mad props. Were you not here? I just, I literally just gave you props for the attempted offensive four staff on the bear to the stun. So, everyone saw that play. I've only actually praised you. You know, I said that you had an awful lane. I said that you did pretty good considering you're up against a lone druid and you almost uh, had a pretty early blink. I actually think you played really well. Don't worry. No, no, shout out to you, man. Uh, am I going to cast the main qualifiers? Oh, we'll see. Uh, I, I will be involved. I've had a couple. I'm, I'm in talks. Now, I might be helping out with a couple of those big qualifiers. Probably um, a couple on Moonduck. Stuff like that. So, either way, this fight, uh, this might be the game ender. It's certainly looking that way. Is Mr. Seti91 in the chat. He does go down as the last one. And well, that's the GG call. So Cookies did take another win, but we're still early in the bracket. It's a long road. Get your way through all these best of one eliminations, but one less to go. So can we all just give a, a shout out to Seti Nine while he show up in the chat? Like you know, he played up against Cookies. He's probably not too feeling good. You know, feeling too good about himself. But hey, you guys, you know, you guys played all right. Don't worry about it. So we'll be. Uh,